Are you lonesome tonight? Do you miss me tonight? Are you sorry we drifted apart? Does your memory stray to a brighter sunny day when I kissed you and called you sweetheart? Do the chairs in your parlor seem empty and bare? Do you gaze at your doorstep and picture me there? Is your heart filled with pain? Shall I come back again? Tell me, dear, are you lonesome tonight? I wonder if you're lonesome tonight. You know, someone said that the world's a stage and each of us must play a part. Fate had me playing in love with you as my sweetheart. Act one is when we met. I loved you at first glance. You read your lines so cleverly and never missed a cue. Then came act two. You seemed to change, acted strange. Why, I've never known. Honey, you lied when you said you loved me. And I had no cause to doubt you. But I'd rather go on hearing your lies than go on living without you. Now the stage is bare and I'm standing there with emptiness all around. And if you won't come back to me, then they can bring the curtain down. Is your heart filled with pain? Shall I come back again? Tell me, dear, are you lonesome? Tonight. Little Elvis Presley for you. Are you lonesome tonight? I'm lonesome every day because I live in the town of Kempville. This place is a lonely place. Very lonely existence, to be honest. Anyhow, I'd like to get the hell out of Kempville. The only problem I have is I don't have the finances to move. I'd like to move today if I had the money. There's nothing in Kempville for Dennis Ramsey. There's no future here for me. Plain and simple, that's the truth. If I had the money, I'd like to move to another province in Canada. The problem I got is the lack of funds. If I had the money given to me today to move, I would go. Because Kempville's not a great town. And you want to know the honest truth? I suffered a lot of discrimination in the town of Kempville because of my mental sickness of the multi-personality disorder and autism. I suffered discrimination every day I go out that door in the public. I get bad comments from different people. My life is very difficult and very hard in the town of Kempville. I want everybody to know that. Now yesterday I had a very bad day. I suffered more discrimination, more bullying, except this time I fought back and talked back about the discrimination and bullying. Anyhow, Sometimes you don't have the freedom of speech in Canada. And I know another thing about Kempfeltown. There's a lot of people that live here 
say bad things about the mentally ill people so careful. They won't say them to your face. They'll say it behind your back, or they'll whisper it under their breath, because they're too much like cowards. They wouldn't go up to your face and say it to your face. They'll say it behind your back, or they'll whisper it under their breath. But those people that serve up bullying and discrimination and bad comments, a lot of those people probably got skeletons in their closet also. And they probably have their share of problems and conflicts too. It's just that they cover it up, you don't see it. When you careful, come by the Dennis Ramsey paintings, please. I live at 27 Canaan Avenue, Campbell, Apartment B, Nova Scotia, Canada. Yellow House, White Trim, Apartment B, Upstairs. Come by the paintings, please. I do folk art, abstract art, and fine art. But no, Campbell is not a nice town at all. Half of the people that live here always got something hateful to say or bad to say towards me. And I don't deserve it. Really, I don't. Yeah, I got my flaws like everybody else, but I don't deserve discrimination. I don't deserve bullying and bad comments from the people that live here, too. I want that to be known. So anyhow, I'm going to go to the Human Rights Commission on a couple people that have been giving me a very difficult time, a very hard time, many nasty comments of discrimination. So I'll be taking that up with the Human Rights Commission in Nova Scotia. I want to file a suit against the people that discriminate against me and say very harmful, nasty things. Y'all take care and have a fine day. Peace out, folks. Peace out.